Oh, well, windshield wipers are essential when it's raining, but what, what if they're running when, it's, when the car's not even on? Well, that's one of three viewer questions we are posing to our next guest. Certified Transmissions, Amanda Fink returns with free automotive advice. Good to see you, Amanda. That's you. Nothing's free. No, <laughs> I, I guess I am today. Actually, I hope so. Uh, we're going to get to that Just wiper issue. Invoices on the yeah, way. Yeah. Send me an invoice. We'll get to that wiper issue in a minute, but first Dave's question. He writes, my 2002 Lincoln LS runs great, but as soon as I turn the AC on, it overheats. How can I prevent this without a major repair? Um, mm. The actual good thing about this question is that it probably and hopefully won't be a major repair. I mean, it probably isn't anything having to do with the engine at all. And same with the AC, there could just be a couple different type of things that are causing that problem. First of all, what's happening is that when your AC is on, it demands for more airflow going through the radiator. Well, that's also that's what cools your engine. So I mean, that's where the problem's coming from. Um, I'm not quite sure on this AC unit, there's hydraulic or electric. What I would recommend doing, obviously, if you, you're probably going to have to take it to a shop for something like this, but they have TSBs. They're called technical service bulletins. We run them on almost everything, unless we can absolutely 100% sure know that, like, your vehicle has no reverse. You know, there's nothing we can do to fix that. We run TSBs all the time to make sure that there's not some sort of bulletin out there saying, hey, red flag, we're seeing this with a lot mm -hmm. of different cars. This is what the fix could be. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance that there might be something like that out there, that there's just an issue with the fan or there could be a leak that's causing the problem that's mm -hmm. making it run low on fluid. So hopefully nothing major on that one. Mm -hmm. But that's kind but, of what's trending. That's where well, you dial into that stuff. Yeah, and AC problems right now are, you know, a fairly common right. thing. So mm -hmm. a lot of shops are probably pretty, you know, yeah up to date on them. Okay, so. let's get to our next question. And this one um, is from Maggie. She writes, the wipers on my 2013 Ford Explorer Limited stay on intermittently even when the switch is turned off. Help. <laughs> um, well, this is, so this is the one that Mike was talking about. Right. This one could be kind of a tricky one because honestly, um, I'm not sure on the 2013s or not on mm -hmm. my vehicle. It probably does because on my vehicle, I have a 2008 and I have rain sensing wipers, mm -hmm. which I didn't know my car had that and yeah. when I bought it. And then all of a sudden they come on. I'm like, these are the best things ever. Yeah. But it'd be really annoying if they were randomly coming on all the time. Uh -huh. Not something that you would like have to get fixed. It's not going to cause any sort of problems. But there could be an issue with the um, rain sensor that's faulty or something like mm -hmm. that. But there could also be wiring. So you don't necessarily just want to start throwing parts at it. And I'm not sure how hard that sensor is to fix or how mm -hmm. much it costs. I guess if it's cheap and easy, you could always try doing that. But if it's electrical, it you know, ends up being more of a headache. So Well, listen, I've got a 14 Explorer, and there is a setting on the inside of the menu. You can go in and turn your sensors off, the automatic uh -huh. sensors. So maybe she can do that temporarily yep. until she goes in and checks it out. Yep, mm -hmm. something to check in the owner's manual probably is always the first place to go to see if you can even like, just turn that on. that drive you crazy? You're just cruising down Maple <laughs> well, just on a on sunny day, and they just start going. And it depends on how often. Off. I mean, if it's 10 times a day, that'd probably drive yeah. me crazy. Oh, that so. definitely would. Right, yeah, the, right. the final question, this is from Jason. Jason writes, I upgraded from a 2007 Ford Escape to a 2013 Escape. I want to know if I can run full synthetic oil in it for as long as I own it, or will that hinder the car's performance? Mm. Absolutely will not hinder the performance. I mean, we always recommend to do full synthetic on everything. We do full <laughs> synthetic transmission fluid on all of our transmissions, and we do full synthetic oil um, on all of our fleet vehicles. And I mean, we've got dozens, maybe even upward of 100 vehicles through all of our shops and rental mm -hmm. cars and stuff. So, um, no, we definitely recommend for it to go that way. They just lubricate a lot better. They can withstand mm -hmm. a lot more heat, which obviously, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't live in you know, San Francisco where it's nice and cool all, all year long and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, I mean, it's definitely something that we recommend doing that. You just have to be careful that you also put the correct oil filter with it if you're going to extend those oil changes. Gotcha. So, well, and don't go, to... don't go over. I mean, we, you know, you got to make sure that you're still yeah. paying attention to that sticker. Well, so. if you're doing that with your fleet vehicles, that makes, I know what I'm going to do. I mean, if right. you guys are doing it and you're yeah. professional. And I yeah. mean, we have lots of delivery trucks that have over 500,000 miles on them. Wow. So I think we right. have one that has like 700 and something. It's always, it. it's always cheaper Maintenance. to take care of the car you have yes. than to buy. Maintenance is definitely, one. you know, key. Uh -huh. Fairly easy for us because we have mechanics that are right you know, yeah. readily available. Point that out. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, we are talking later in, in this show with Thor Schrock about 
best of Omaha. Mm -hmm. And obviously he's, he's in a different category because you specialize in different things. But it was cool last year. There was an, a new category. Yes. And so, you took it. Yeah. So transmission repair was the first. Um, last year was the first time they did a category for transmission repair. We we're super ecstatic. We got first place. So we're hoping to follow that up again. Um, uh -huh. Obviously, it's all of our you know, great customers and wholesale customers and friends and family and everyone like that that's gotten stuff done with us. And I mean, we definitely appreciate every single uh -huh. vote we can get. How can, our, how can our viewers support you then? Well, I think it's bestofvoting.com. And the thing is that a lot of people didn't know about this is that if you've already gone in and voted, you can still go back in and add to more. Right. You don't have to like, in. yeah, you don't have to like reapply and pick 15 new places and mm -hmm. stuff. You can continue to go back in and add people's names in. So we'd love if people could take five minutes to do that for us, especially if we We've ever you know worked on their vehicle at all or uh -huh. have you know if helped out in any way always so. have a, I mean just personally a great experience colleagues who say like mm -hmm. they they want to send you notes to just say thank you for treating me right because yeah. that's what you're about a certified um, that's Amanda Fink thank you for being thank here you guys. five Amanda. locations in the Omaha area and then online omaha.certifiedtransmission.com thanks Amanda and thank you. your not your question your question could be featured <laughs> during our next visit with Amanda or Peter or another member of the crew from certified a few ways to get those questions to us, email talkback at omahawarningblend.com or leave questions on our Facebook wall. The hub mic is omahawarningblend.com. All right, this time of year, most families are preoccupied with getting kids settled in for the new school year. Yeah, Sammy Superheroes has a different mission when it comes to kids curing childhood cancers. Next, how you can help through something called Glow Gold.